So I'm continuing on the series of podcasts that are looking at the major muscles of the body that we were discussing. And currently we're looking at our hand model, one of the better hand models uh, that we use, better than uh, using the uh, upper extremity models that we've been using previously in the anatomy one lab. And uh, we're looking here with, uh, we have done, basically imagine that a superficial dissection of the hand had occurred here. And still we have left the tendons coming in from the uh, flexor digitorium, uh, or the palmaris longus rather, the palmaris longus and its tendons coming into the palmar region here uh, on this hand. And if we take this and remove it, then we can then better see the muscles that uh, we want to discuss. And the very first muscle I want to discuss here is this very superficial uh, abductor pollicis brevis muscle, abductor pollicis brevis. Uh, we will not discuss the longest from this model, but you can see the abductor pollicis brevis. We always can flip off and look further deep to these muscles, but right now the only ones we want to discuss on here is, uh, for this particular video, is our abductor pollicis brevis. Remember the pollux is the thumb. Uh, also, we want to discuss one that will adduct, adduct the thumb, the adductor pollicis, adductor pollicis muscle. Uh, so with that, we can see generally just a few that we want to discuss. The, uh, the last one that I do want to discuss is the flexor pollicis brevis, flexor pollicis brevis. So we have our abductor pollicis brevis, adductor pollicis and our uh, flexor pollicis brevis. These muscles here found near the thumb to adduct, flex, um, and otherwise move the, uh, the pollux uh, or the uh, thumb. So, and also one that if we place it back on here, the tendons here of our uh, palmaris longus as it would cover in here to insert and pull uh, the digits of uh, digits uh, two, three, four, and five. Uh, so we have these, and it is quite uh, visible in this model. It does a really good job of showing that in a uh, superficial dissection. And that concludes the podcast on the muscles of the hand.